Hey guys, um, today we have a Toshiba laptop, Toshiba satellite, and it's uh, C55-A5308. That's the model right here. Toshiba. Toshiba. And uh, it came in here today for the power jack repair. And the power jack repair is right here, you see. You see the jack inside? Well, kind of. It's, it pushed all the way inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all apart and uh, show you how you can uh, pretty much fix it yourself. Or you could send it to us, we can fix it for 100 bucks. All right? So first of all, you need to unscrew every single screw you have on the bottom of the uh, laptop. And it's right here, right here, right here, 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 and those two. So let me get a screwdriver and start unscrewing. I will try to point the finger where I'm unscrewing the most. So here. Okay. So right here, we'll start from the back, okay? Uh, I'm putting the sharp uh, piece in there and trying to get the CD-ROM out without breaking this plastic piece. And here, I need to remove those two rubber pads, right here and right here, before you're going to be able to before you're going to be able to remove the hard drive. and push the hard drive outwards like that and like that and unscrew that screw right there and probably this guy right here Okay, now you want to put the glasses on because there's going to be dust inside. You just lift up the cover on the bottom. And that's your jack right here. And you see the problem is it's got pushed in through the rails. And uh, it's pretty much all loose inside. Alright, so the way you take that off the motherboard is right here. Like that, like that, like that, and like that. So here you unplug this cable. Alright, so you want to analyze the jack. And I can see right away that we need to replace the jack for sure. And another thing you see here is uh, this plastic piece is broken. That would hold the jack in place. And this 
rail right here. This rail right here is to the side, it needs to be more inwards, like more inside away from the like that basically. Yeah. Because the jack is being held by the jack is being held by this piece right here and this piece right here. This piece is not broken but it's kind of moved to the side and this piece right here is broken. So there is really no way to fix this guy. So yeah. Anyways, um, the best course of action here is first of all we need to replace the jack and second of all, we need to cement the whole the whole area right here. So, yeah, let's uh, begin by by uh, desoldering this jack and putting a new jack in. All right, so we get that, and we need to get. The uh, cutting tool, and we need to cut the wires from this jack. So, let's cut this guy right here. Uh, first of all, we need to fire up the soldering iron. So let's take uh, this out. So what I'm doing right now, I'm taking the heat ring off of the wiring. so that when I put the soldering iron to it, it would all get... Uh, there won't be much smell to it, because the smell is horrible when you melt the plastic with the soldering iron, so... The reason I'm I am taking this jack out because that metal spring right here on the bottom 
it's already shows that it's uh, sprang all the way outwards all the way so the pin is fine but that metal spring it it uh, it's in it basically in a position where it's already been sprung out outwards too much so there is some still springing action going on but not much at all and since it's already here I could just replace it with a new one and uh, it should be alright Okay, so that's a brand new jack right here, which is exactly the same manufacturer as the original jack. And uh, yeah, so let me desolder this guy, put this guy on.
And now I'm gonna put some liquid tape on top of the jack. Alright, so what I need to do now is I need to mix the cement, which stinks really bad. All right, so I mixed this whole thing up, and I need to wait a little bit for everything to kick in, for this to dry, and I will uh, turn the camera back to the to the workstation. Okay. So here, what we're gonna do now is. Uh, What we're gonna do now, we're gonna bring two of the exhaust systems closer in. I guess one system is gonna be the only one right here. So, what I'm gonna do next is uh, You don't want to put cement on the bottom right here, because uh, right here, if you put some on the bottom, uh, you risk of having cement penetrated into the jack, and if it penetrates into the jack, you pretty much screwed, all right? So first you want to put the jack on.
So now the jack is in place, we want to cement it on the top and right there on the side.
All right, guys, and this is how you replace a DC jack on uh, the Shiba Sys C55. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. I would greatly appreciate it. If you want us to fix it for you, uh, if you're in Chicago, stop by. If you're not in Chicago, send it in. I'm going to test it tomorrow because the cement takes 24 hours to cure. Uh, once it's all tested out, uh, it's going to be packed up and shipped back to the client. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Leave a like. Thank you. Bye.